get into this uh this interesting story i have the main if you're watching on youtube the main story we have about um miss ss sniper wolf bro this situation is uh is crazy in itself i know i say this about everything oh this is wild this is crazy no this one it it's actually nuts i believe ss sniper wolf it's it's totally nuts, okay? And she's been having this back and forth with another OG YouTuber by the name of Jax Film. Jax Films came out and said, you know what? I don't think Sniper Wolf does great reaction videos um, because, yes, Sniper Wolf tends to grab TikToks and react to them, okay? And I'm going like this because me, myself, don't think... I don't think she, she, she does a good job of reacting. Let me show you guys an example of her reaction. This dude is running sideways. That's her, uh, that's her commentary, guys. Literally telling you the dude is running sideways when we see him run sideways on the left side. This dude is running sideways. <laughs> what? <laughs> it cracks me up all the whole all, all the time because she makes good money for from this type of content. Like I said, she has 34 million subscribers. I want to say most of them are children if you guys don't know sniper wolf took it to a whole other level like i said she's been going back and forth with this og youtuber jack's film what she did recently i i believe it was a few weeks ago is mind-blowing because she decided to go ahead and dox jack's film first she said should i go visit jack's film he lives five minutes away from my shoot yes or no keep in mind she asked her 5.6 million followers on instagram yes this was posted on instagram 5.6 basically telling them yo you guys decide should i go visit him or no and well she did go visit him she recorded the outside of his house and i obviously blocked it out but she put let's talk like adults and tagged him imagine having internet beef and then one of your one of you decides to take it to the next level in real life and say you know what let me go outside your house let me uh let me see what you're about i said this in my video if you really want to talk to like adults message him dm him squash your beef go to starbucks i don't know do it the proper way instead of just showing up to his house all weird all creepy jack was actually on live he was live streaming when this happened pause this is like yeah, hold on. This is T. Is she like trying to dump you right now? I don't know, but that's And yeah, she took it upon himself herself to go to his house and show everyone, her followers, how how uh, his house looks, which once again, totally creepy. Creepy as hell. The reason I'm talking about this now is because after this docs happened, Jax actually went to Twitter and told YouTube, yo, you guys have to deplatform this girl. Uh, she literally just doxed me, blah, blah, blah. A lot of people were talking about it. I was talking about it on my main channel. And well, YouTube really did not do anything about it. Um, one, I, I guess it wasn't on their platform specifically, but even though their community guidelines say, if you mess up, on another platform and we find out about it here or it involves someone in youtube something like that you'll get punishment but her only punishment was she got temporarily suspended from the youtube partner program which i'm thinking they're not going to be paying for her videos for seven days okay that's the minimum she's not getting monetized for seven days this is what I think. Um, so a lot of people are like, yo, what the hell? Why Why wouldn't YouTube just ban her, get her channel off? Because she literally doxed another YouTuber. Um, so yeah, now apparently it seems like Sniper Wolf, Leah, is uh, quitting or stepping time away from YouTube and social media because she posted this. Please remember that in spite of our differences, different opinions, mistakes, we all struggle to do the best we can. And nobody is unaffected by hate, insecurity, and the pain is caused. I'm taking a step back, reflecting, learning, turning off the comments for a bit, and focusing on my mental health. That has been stepped, uh, steep decline for the past year. Videos has been extremely difficult to film past few months. So thank you for being patient with me. You never know what struggle people are going through. So please be kind and please try to remember I am human and I have feelings just like you. So the one thing that got me was the whole mental health situation. Why is it when people go through some, some real stuff on the internet or just in life, 
they play the mental health card, right? You know, we've seen it here on the show. When people get caught, when people get exposed, they tend to either talk about mental health or talk about God. Yeah, I feel like this is always the situation with them. They always tend to play the mental health card. And listen, I take mental health very seriously because it is seriously, it is serious. It's something you have to take uh, in consideration. But I don't know. I, I just strongly feel this happened because she got caught. And she only saying she's only saying it because she did. She got caught and now wants people to feel sorry for her. I've seen this a whole bunch of times throughout my YouTube career, throughout the shows I've done. Um, and yeah, it's just sad that, you know, because people like her, people like the people I've spoken about, um, when actual people with mental health issues come out, we're just like, uh, okay, it's mental health. All right. But yeah, that's what I feel. And yeah, she's taking a break from from YouTube, I guess, and social media. So that was just a little update I wanted to talk about because I strongly feel she'll be back next week. <laughs>